Minister orders BTSB to review the way it keeps records while PD leader calls for its disbandment. A second teenager dies after being hit by a stolen car in Cork on St. Patrick's Day. Speculation that British chain Tesco may be about to take over Quinsworth and crazy prices. And a look at the sordid world of some of Ireland's heroin addicts. Good evening. The Minister for Health, Michael Noonan, has ordered the Blood Transfusion Service Board to review the way it keeps computer records after yesterday's disclosure that a woman with hepatitis C was asked for a blood donation. But the leader of the Progressive Democrats, Mary Harney, said the only way to restore full confidence in the Blood Transfusion Service would be to disband the board and start from scratch. Tonight, the Cabinet is discussing the issue again after a meeting between the Minister for Health and Positive Action. Jane O'Brien of Positive Action said the Minister had given them a sympathetic hearing but had made no concessions. At 9 o'clock this morning, the Chief Executive of the BTSB was summoned to a tough-talking meeting with the Minister to explain the latest embarrassing revelations. Discussions focused on the computer system used by the Board to record details of donors. The Minister wanted to know whether the system could be improved to highlight more prominently those who have been exempted from donating blood for whatever reason. He also discussed the replacement of the system, described by the chairman of the BTSB as antiquated. Progressive Democrats leader Mary Harney has called for the board to be disbanded. I think people have lost all confidence in the Blood Transfusion Service Board, and I believe for that reason it should be disbanded. I don't think it's acceptable that we can continue having inquiries and tribunals, and nobody is held accountable. And I think it's time that the government stopped worrying about their image and took the victim seriously. However, the board's chief executive, Liam Dunbar, defended its performance and said he'd worked night and day to improve the service since taking over in 1995. I'm embarrassed that somebody should ask for me to be sacked. Uh, I've had 30 years in public service and I have never been treated like this in my life by anybody. Mary Harney dismissed criticism that her comments would further undermine confidence in the blood transfusion system. The people that have undermined confidence in the Blood Transfusion Services Board are those that have been managing it for a long number of years. And what transpired since 1977, what came forward uh, during the tribunal, that's what has damaged confidence in the Blood Transfusion Services Board. And I do not accept that what I said has further damaged it. The last thing Michael Noonan needs this week is another set of embarrassing revelations. He's still grappling with the complex issue of aggravated damages demanded by the victims. This evening he's been meeting with positive action and while the group say he gave them a sympathetic hearing, he's so far given them no concessions. The minister is considering the points we have put to him. He didn't put any formal proposals to us and we await um, a response from the minister to these points. I think the minister is aware very clearly that the anti-D mothers now have clear rights and clear options and the government has to address the very serious issues that we have put before Mr Noonan. The women have given the minister until April 5th to come up with proposals. Tonight, the cabinet has resumed its discussions on the compensation issue. In Cork, a second teenager...